now we are coming towards the session of screen printing now everybody is clear yes uh, after the webinar uh, i will take your questions and uh, manually even uh, after these uh, four five slides i'll do some practical things against this uh, problems see what are variable dots and what is chemical free printing uh, you just uh, type yes if if you are into printing industry you are into printing press or garment industry or screen printing or sublimation or digital or same lot of almost everybody great branding okay this is important then first is what is variable dot variable dot see this 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 dot is also uh, is you know small and uh, heavier this is flat this is also same size but here this is the magic this is called variable dot the when when i need a smallest dot i can create it when i need middle tone this weight i can create it and when i need the heaviest droplet size i can create it but only using epson printers why because if they are having piezo electric technology which actually able to generate variable dot and how it can help in half toning whenever you are using variable dot printer the half tone half tone i'll explain you here what is half tone half tone is a basic requirement to print on a press or anything you want to print you need at least some dot to for newspaper for so your t-shirts or some garment printing you need a dot so that you can expose into your screen and when you use a squeezy and ink will you know you transfer through the screen to onto your fabric and the output will be we we call it output is screen printed this dot will help us to create a half tone half tone is like a dot you can see here these are i have i have told you some lpi thing in the starting lpi this is lines per inch in a in a inch how many lines if you can draw vertically and horizontally and when they cross when they cross there will be a dot more the lines finer the dot lesser the line bigger the dot obvious obvious so if the figure here is 10 if we put in our rip that we need a dot of 30 lpi means the dot shape will be like this if we put 10 lesser the value bigger the dot bigger the value lesser the dot no problem no need to remember it will be practical thing you can see it later this is pre absent print head which can you know here here you can see small dots and bigger dots in a real time during printing and this is good for it. and in variable dot here bigger dots medium dots small dot but conventional dots are same size overall image will be not as good as this machine can print i mean epson is much far, far better than uh, other brands as far as half toning is concerned now uh talking about the half tones type of dot i mean this this is round dot and this is line dot if you can see you are a currency note there is no dot at all there should be a lines you can see after the webinar you you can check in currency notes they are not using conventional printing they are using line printing very hard to design very hard to print so they they made uh, uh currency notes to you know replicate not easily otherwise people can print 
zero battery another one is square dot another application i will explain it after two slides here is the angle 75 45 15 and 0 and how is this this dot relevant to us this angle is must otherwise every dot like if there is four dots cyan magenta yellow black and every dot is you know printed one over another the overall color will be black no result will be colorful so if you have to print in cmyk process color in offset especially i am talking about you can see this kind of moire uh this kind of flower thing here this is due to the dots every dot is uh, just adjacent to another dot just left right front behind this way so it produces this kind of pattern or this kind of pattern overall this kind of pattern you can see this is rosette screens uh, used for um, high resolution magazine printing this kind of stuff or, or offset printing titles magazines they are using this kind of stuff in our system we are also using angles normally 22.5 with elliptical dot elliptical is like egg shape egg shape dot it's it's much better for uh, t-shirt printing and here i am just introduced you something different is upcoming technology very soon it will be implemented uh, uh, by uh, most of the factories is called fm screening some people are also using but this is pretty expensive am screening is normal this is am screening this is this can be produced using small rip small printer you can do am screening but fm it's expensive it's like uh, 3000 to 600 us dollars for a software to generate this kind of screen so just uh, for introduction i have but the overall result is very very smooth here you can see it's very smooth but here you can see the overall uh, moire so this is this will look like dtg printing even by printed by a screen printing in left uh, previous slide i have told you what are half tones half tone is is a reproduction of a design or an image in which varial to various tones of gray various tones of gray again third time various tones of gray it is actually black variable tones bigger dot smaller dot very small dot printed using only black ink not gray ink we have to print with black with a variable size of dots to split a design into multiple plates and after that plates that plate will be split into gray scale gray scale cannot be printed using screen printing or offset you need a dot so that it can be exposed on uh, your press screen and the ink will be penetrated through through the screen and then finally you will get a print out so this is the half tone the variable you can see here this is the shadows and the mid tones and the highlights you can say in another way how you can produce half tone half tone you can produce using two things one is photoshop just convert to bitmap or corona convert to bitmap put the dot lpi and you will get the image but this is wrong see how many people are using laser printers to print butter paper for screen printing please uh, type uh, here laser how many people laser just type laser to take your uh, films this is this is a film i think you can see me uh, yes now you can see this is something else but uh, is a different story but almost it's like a butter paper laser lot of people are using still laser printer so guys from this day till the 
Uh, last day of your life, don't use laser printer to print your commercial stuff. This was pretty old story. You cannot be using dialing phone this time because you have the mobile phone. And why? This is advanced technology. You no need to use a, a butter paper. It's a, it's a very, 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 very ancient story. You have to throw it into the dustbin and use a thing called chemical free film. This thing. This is almost transparent. It's it's 95, 96% transparent. Even I have film which is 100% transparent, but you don't need, don't need to use that because using UV screens is become 100% transparent. So there is no need. It's not expensive. Butter paper it will give you... See, what the problem with the laser? I'll discuss first. Laser printer was good when I have started the business, like 1995, 1996, 97, after 2000, 2005, it was okay. What the problem is, laser printer is using PCL5, PCL6 language. Now, how is relevant to you? It's a like postscript. Means you can pre print a 300 DPI or 600 DPI if you can. Most of the dot now is 600 DPI to 1200 DPI and it's a problem. So 300 DPI is far better than 600 or 1200 DPI as far as screen printing is concerned. This laser printer, when you show, shoot a print from your system to a laser printer, what is happening? It makes your design into a TIFF image. Nonsense. That was an old technology. Means your text, your bitmap is actually converted into a photograph, making a TIFF file, and immediately it will actually print it, exposed into the laser drum, and it, it, it printed on your paper or butter paper, whatever. When something, when any vector is converted into bitmap, everybody knows. There is a quality loss, huge quality loss. In inkjet printing technology, there is zero loss. This information, this data, directly vector data is going to a rip and rip totally understand that this is, is vector, it's, it's a bitmap and it's, it print 100% clear information to an inkjet printer. And then finally that variable dot is printed on this film and you will get a razor sharp half tones see in hindi now i, I speak in hindi a lot of people can understand that i actually I, I i'll explain you how to use and why to uh, switch this to the thing in q and a session just stay with us till the end of the webinar <clears throat> First of all, this laser printer in maps in Hindi make Choti Si Baat Karna Chata. Jab hum printing karte the, during our printing time, our masters, our gurus told us that if you design something, say it's 21, say ye 21 hai, 19 hai, like that, that in that sense agar aap design karte hain wo 21 hoga jab aap usko expose karte hain wo 19 reh jayega aur jab aap usko print karoge to wo 17 reh jayega and in the case of laser printer when you are printing on a butter paper wo actually you directly aap 17 pe pahunch jate ho you are actually directly you are coming from 21 to 17 or 15 the resolution is lost the quality is lost in 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 this action, actually, you can eliminate. Agar aapka wo 21 hai, agar ye film use karenge, to aap 20 pe pahunchenge. Ki thoda sa quality loss to isme bhi hota hai. Image setter ki tarah nahi hai, but screen printing mein jo chahiye, uske liye ye 100 bata 100 match karta hai. So when you use this film, you are getting uh, 92 to 95 percent accuracy as per design. In butter paper, it is less than 40 percent. So this sharpness you lose on butter paper 
when exposed to a screen emulsion using a strings of uh, polyester you know hold tightly into a frame your overall quality again reduced and while it's printed the quality definitely it also lose the edges and the sharpness so this is not recommended brother you have to oh one thing i forgot how many ladies and girls we have actually just just type uh, gp girl power i i want to know girl power dr ekta sharma great 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 okay good 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 c laser printer you have to forget now and it's a, it's just a upgrade if you want to see if you want to buy a a3 laser it's cost you 60 to 70000 rupees i don't know the exact price but it will not less than 60000 rupees but if you want to print this size this is more than uh, a laser size i mean uh, the size is 13 by 19 and this cost less than 50000 rupees together printer and the rip software and all stuff less than 50000 rupees and you are getting at least 10 10 times finer quality what you are getting out of your this laser printer so everything is clear okay i'll i'll good all good so here i i am I'm, i'm just telling you uh in depth story of the half tone see half tone these half tone is the backbone of the industry everybody using this but these other things are the specialty things which is normally used by a branded companies like benetton or zara or the most expensive brands they they are asking their uh, vendors printing vendors to you know print in a different way so that they can they'll charge more than the conventional uh, t-shirt <clears throat> stores so first of all this is am printing everybody is using am printing and with laser you are doing less than this am and this is the generic thing of uh, screen printing the second thing is a wonderful and amazing thing for you how this is the backbone of the latest technology i for you it's latest maybe but i am selling this thing last 9 years uh, in ludhiana almost 95% uh, machines we have installed with all, all this system and now they are actually printing all over if you can understand all over all over means like uh, i am wearing some shirt it's, it's all printed by screen so it's called all over using bigger uh, printing machines and if you are printing small things like this you 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 get this one this is sublimation but if you print this thing like t-shirt uh, you need the small machines is okay for you the third one is square today is not day to discuss this uh, but you have to aware that there is square dot uh, we have rip software uh, it can produce almost 27 different dots shapes of the dots the fourth one is fm this is the future you must know about this In coming uh, webinars we will uh, uh, also introduce a live practical session printing and this is line uh, i have told you this is for currency but for screen printing if you can use this kind of stuff i can uh, share with you in other webinars this this is a kind of uh, designing software you just uh, get a design and put this dot and directly it will convert it into the line and when it's printed it's looking beautiful now how can you uh, print this kind of films what i have seen you for uh, uh, your small shops here you can see the uh, dot i think you, you can see i don't think you can see or not and this is the this is the finest line hair line hair line maybe you cannot see able to see Maybe. okay right so here is uh, some uh, rip software we are using different kind of rip software for different application 
and uh, this this is Epson L1800 printer. Maybe you have or you can have your from your city. Rest of the things we can provide as a kit and uh, how to use this, how to training. Obviously, we can provide if you need it. And uh, what is the feature? With laser, you can you you can print. That's it. Beyond that, this using this system, what you can print, how it can help you. See, it's it is having uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, light cyan, light magenta. Six ink channel from this head, you will get. And you you see, you can put black ink into black and uh, all other colors into the relevant channels, and you will get a color output. But suddenly, if someday your black head is not working and uh, it's becoming some uh, it's having some issues with the printing or it's become damaged so using the this rip software we can block this we can put black into yellow or any magenta or light cyan so you don't need to replace the print head until unless you have the last ink channel with you i mean there are six chances you see six lives with your printer you have black is not working okay block it yellow put the yellow uh, put the ink into the yellow channel and start using that so it's 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 very comfortable to use this machine and half tone in laser printer you can print uh, 300 dpi 600 dpi now 1200 dpi it's worthless for screen printing Using this system, you can print from 10 LPI to 150 LPI, but for screen printing, 80 LPI is more than sufficient. But you can print from 10 LPI, 10 LPI, like this type of dot. This is very, very bigger dot. This maybe you can see. You can see like this. Okay. Again, uh, you can change the dot shape, or the angle, and the dot gain. What is dot gain? I'll explain you. This is a very uh, unique thing. People are not aware of this thing. Even they have uh, experience even more than 10 to 15 years. They don't have idea of dot gain. Now, uh, this is just an example of a bigger machine for the factories who are printing this kind of all over stuff full ladies kurti full ladies uh, like uh, suits or sarees they need bigger films to print and uh, practically these machines are very very useful for them the basic is 24 36 44 we have to have 44 64 four inch machine also for this thing and here you have uh, all the features. You can you print FM screens. Small printer, you cannot print FM screens. Here, you can print custom screen, rosette screen. Rosette screen is for offset. Uh, F, FM screen is for uh, garment and other things uh, also can be, you know, do with this. And uh, hybrid means the combination of FM and AM and this kind of combination. Maybe cyan, magenta, yellow using FM and black would be like dark half tone using AM, AM screening. Forget what I have seen, uh, I have to speak because you don't have to remember everything. You just have to get the information relevant to you because this is a complete information from the scratch till the printing process. Now, using this printer, you can print film positives. I have some positive uh, for you. This is a proper job. It's a six color job. The same job we will uh, design now and separate for you. This is a job. This is six color job. And that's how it, it can print it. And you can print it like this way. As long as you want. There's no limit. But you have to print you can print at any length so these are the separation you can print what are the application if you have uh, see here in this uh, there have been a lot of different uh, industry uh, people are having with us like 
offset or screen or t-shirt garment or flexo or you spot uv or itching metal itching all these industries can use even are using these systems like t-shirt printing industry for plate exposing the people don't have access to ctp like srinagar or far away in uttarakhand this is a uh, polymer block making same brush machine is using this story uh, if, if you can remember a uh, lot of boxes computer boxes wooden uh, wooden boxes even uh, most of the corrugated boxes are printing using blocks not using offset printing that blocks need a uh, this kind of uh, plate polymer plate this is actually made by this thing and spot uv this is a wonderful thing uh, there are a lot of uh, companies are using like vista print or other things can provide you this service spot uv for wedding albums uh, some portion of a specific area is actually glossy that sort of thing is matte that is actually done by spot uv this machine is required again the the city muradabad and uh, Muradabad is like a grass city. They most of the people are using our machines there to uh, you know, each and put some uh, manual work like this coloring or etching. And this this in, in Chandigarh, many people are using our system. They are making like IPS officer or they are etching engraving in depth engraving uh, blocks for brass. even in amritsar people are using this machine to each gold to make a unique art like uh, gurus or uh, some this kind of uh, you know taj mahal to engrave and this uh, type of design will be you know etching first expose expose and then etch and you have to design uh, as per custom design they are also providing using the same stuff so these are the option variable you can choose from as per your need now now we are at designing what is this thing spot color see spot color means if if somebody is wearing mm, i am a bad boy it's really said Written written on uh, with white color on a black uh, T-shirt, it's also a spot color. Maybe in two colors, yellow and red, black and yellow. It's also spot color. But you cannot print a photograph using spot color till till time until unless you have this system. In a conventional method, I have told you you need a white surface to print using CMYK. because if cyan is interacted with magenta will produce a blue and cyan if reacts with i mean overlaps with the color produce almost green green and red when it comes to magenta and yellow it's a process color it's called process color and you have to use transparent inks otherwise if the inks are opaque it will not produce a secondary color got it okay transparent paper is called posi jet film is a film is uh, very useful for screen printing i will get all the question uh, in uh, last of the webinar and uh, until unless i'll give you all the question i will not leave no problem please stay with the this the slide this is important actually so using this conventional method this is this thing is printed cyan magenta yellow black and white for a garment five colors they have printed and they they, they got this kind of moire and result is worthless and here this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 this printing is in eight color not a big deal for automatic machinery like grafica or mnr or mhm like uh, people they can usually print the six to seven colors that there is not big deal because 
a one lot is like uh, 1000 to 10000 t-shirts per lot by design so they don't have any problem with the six color or seven color but the, the result here if if you have seen uh, the t-shirt uh, coming from uh, uh, like bangladesh not exactly bangladesh from bangkok thailand the the, the t-shirt t-shirt are very very cheap but the overall printing is very colorful they are using this thing this this is called simulated color so now we cut off from this thing process color thing you have to delete from your vocabulary if you are into garment printing otherwise your result will not come as the other people can do if they are having this kind of stuff now spot color what is the difference between this here we have a wider color gamut again number of carons we have much more than here secondary this thing you have to understand here i have told you primary colors and two mixture of two color is secondary color mixture of three colors further uh, mixture of secondary color is called tertiary color so here is the explanation primary color means a suppose a b and c if a connect with b joined together you will get a secondary color and again it will like tertiary color now these slides basic color schemes how affect your business you have to understand what is cool and warm see Cool means the light look like blue, bluish tone is cool light, and the light look like orangish yellow is more like warm light. But our sunlight is between 500 to 600 Kelvin. Whenever you design or you designing and you are uh, uh, watching habits, you must ensure. This, this light should be in your room otherwise what you will print in your factory when it comes to the sunlight it will entirely different look entirely different what you have designed or printed maybe your material will be rejected so you have to understand in this slide that you you have to use a consistent light all the time to see the output i think you understand that i mean if you have a bulb or orange light the overall design overall color printed color will be absorb more a uh, warm color pitch and if you have led lights lot of led lights on your room the the led kelvin light is something like uh, 7000 to 8000 so, so blue color will be uh, become more vibrant than the reds and the yellows. So it will cause some problem. So you have to understand this. Yeah, this this thing belongs to colors of theory, theory of the colors. But when you design and when you print, you have to standardize. That when you see something, you have to see in in a in a way that you shouldn't change the temperature viewing temperature actually the color will be the same because in the morning something view is entirely different which is you can see in the middle of the day and the evening is more like sunset color now there are some uh, there are lot of things uh, around us which makes our things difficult Women, uh, by default, it's a nature. It's a it's a proper research that women can see almost thirty percent more accuracy and detailed hue. Hue. This is hue. Uh, 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 that's why I have put this slide here. Hue is the tone, color, color. This is hue. This is red hue, the yellow hue. This is bluish and purple. This is called hue. So ladies can differentiate this hue much better than a man can see. Technically, this is a live example. If if uh, some lady goes to some showroom along with his husband, uh, 
her, her husband uh, men can see all the things are almost same but she she, she is actually you know more uh, concerned with the colors because she can see the exact tone of that color normally men when see the colors they can see only the limited uh, thing this, this this green only the limited range of the colors we can see as a man and women can differentiate in between see is almost the almost you can see 75% more than uh, the situation again color perception i mean colors are entirely different as far as light and the viewing conditions are concerned see in the last uh now i am asking my audience a and b these two colors can you tell me these are 100% same a and b you can see on your screen these colors are 100% same this is looking like light color and this is dark color but this is our 100% same okay by the end of webinar because i cannot stop this uh, thing now but these are 100% same because the viewing condition here we have put a object which is actually blocks the light and if there is some darker areas around a lighter area and here is a more light the same color the overall our mind will be upset you seeing this stuff and a it perceives that this color is lighter because darker colors are you know covering it so this is very important this perception is actually this is due to our mind so never trust your eyes until unless you are 100% sure so this this thing uh, i'll take just a, one minute on this this some people out of 10 people one people cannot understand colors properly so most of the time you have to understand that you can you can take your test now this this all blocks can you see just tell me what is written here in this block numeric value the people who cannot read this is suffering from this disease 71 one is as 71 there is some issue in uh, doing so this this is called a uh, color blindness test most of the people are uh, not uh, very very uh, you know uh, sensitive to the colors 81 oh 71 81 no it's 74 and can you tell me what is this this one, this is uh, more complicated. Okay. Okay, okay. This is fine, great, right. So this is the problem. If the designer, uh, if you have a designer or your uh, uh, person is having some issue, I don't, I'm not asking he's blind actually. He's not less sensitive to the colors. Maybe he, he cannot able to design properly. So you have to make this test. 